Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Hidden Gem R NAS series. Now today we've got a player from the Belgium Pro League. And as you probably know, as I didn't know till I was doing this bloody episode, <laughs> that the Belgium team of the season has actually been released. I genuinely didn't know the Belgium team of the season has been released until I was building this squad. And uh, I decided to pick this guy up just to put in this team because he looks like a pretty amazing card to be honest. 86 pace, 87 dribbling, 80 shooting, 83 passing. Looks like a really good card. Plus... He's 10.750k, okay, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, although this video isn't about this guy, so, you know, fuck you, Dosevi. Uh, we're putting the focus onto Simon, which is a Nigerian silver striker who's got 5-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves, picked him up for 950 coins. I think he's a bit more expensive than that because I went to, like, 1.3k and I searched and this guy came up as a cam, so I converted him to a striker. But I'm guessing he's around 1.5k or 2k. Um, after the whole hype of the Belgium team this season probably dies down, you will probably be able to get him for a lot cheaper. Uh, five foot six, he's definitely not a target man. But as you can see by the stats, you know exactly what you're going to do with this guy. 90 pace, 76 dribbling, 70 shooting. You're just going to play it through this guy. And uh, four star skill moves as well. If you're a skiller, you know you'll still like this guy because he can still do a few decent skill moves. Uh, medium weed, medium work rate's pretty decent. And I've uh, got him in a pretty decent Belgium Pro League team. This guy's got a team of season. This guy's got a team of season. And so does this guy. So you can make this team a lot better if you are wanting to build, your pro, um, build a pro, um, Belgium Pro League team. Um, and to be honest, it sounds like a ridiculous suggestion that building a Belgian Pro League team. But they have got some really good players, especially with the team this season coming out. It is a pretty decent choice, to be honest, to make a Belgian team this season team, a Belgian Pro League team, with some team this season team, because they do have some really uh, good players. Plus, you can go with Van Hout as well, the 6'10 god, because you know, why the hell not? Uh, but he's actually quite expensive for some reason, I'm not sure why. But anyway, we're going to get into the review of this guy, and uh, this is the team I've got him in, so hopefully he is as OP and rapid as he looks, and we'll see how he actually does. So, getting into the review of Simon, or Moses Simon as he's actually called. Now, looking at his in-game stats, he looks like a really, really solid card for a silver card. 91 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 93 agility, 89 balance, 74 finishing, and 83 jumping are some of his best stats, which are really, really good. For a silver card now just want to say one thing quickly as well out of the players i've done so far in the hidden gem on NAS series this guy by far is the best player i have tried for many many reasons firstly his pace his pace is just absolutely amazing i mean for 90 pace i'm gonna say it, he feels like he feels faster than some 93 or 94 pace players i have played with he feels absolutely rapid when you get away with this guy once you get away with this guy no defender is going to catch you simple as that and the fact that he's five foot six as well means he is an agile little fucker as well he can just dribble in, in between defenders and get the finisher away and with 74 finishing he's pretty clinical in front of goal for a silver card and uh, that's helped actually by uh, the fact that some silvers even though they might have like 79 dribbling or something because that's 79 dribbling because it's a silver card feels the equivalent of a 90 on a gold card. I'm not sure whether that's an actual thing, but at least for me, it does actually feel like that when I'm actually playing with this guy. And uh, he feels absolutely amazing. Now, agility-wise, like I said, he's really, really good getting in, between midf um, getting in between defenders and just finishing it off. And um, also in the games I did play with this guy, he did manage to pick up six goals in three games, which is really, really good. Now, there is a few cons with this guy, not much, but there are a few. Um, first of all, his strength, he's not the fastest guy in the world, so I wouldn't recommend getting in one-on-one -on -one battles with defenders, that wasn't, that probably won't work. But saying that, he's got decent balance with 89 balance, so he, he can, he hasn't got the best strength, but he's not going to get shoved over and just fall over every single time. So that balance does um, help him in that respect. And all in all, for a player who, okay, isn't in the best league, I would definitely recommend picking this guy up because he has got four style skill moves as well. I don't really use skill moves, so I just didn't, I didn't actually really use that part of him. But if you are a skiller, then you'll probably use, be able to use them skill moves to your advantage. And he's just a really, really solid, um, solid, um, solid striker. And for a silver card, he's got some really, really good stats. Uh, free kicks, I wouldn't recommend using free kicks for this guy because he's got 35 uh, free kicks. But he's just one of them agile strikers like Dybala, like... Um, like Dybala, like Messi even, if you wouldn't have like an expensive comparison. But just that sort of player that's just agile, just runs in between with pace and agility and just does the job. So, in overall, in overall, um, in overall I'm going to give this guy a 9.5 out of 10. I was tempted to give this guy a 10, but that strength and sometimes he can miss a few chances even though he's fairly clinical is why in the end I'm going to give this guy a 9.5 and not a 10. And I'm also going to give this guy 
a 10 out of 10 for value for money because I've managed to pick him up for 950 coins and for that price he's just an absolute bargain. If he was in one of the top leagues, no shadow of a doubt he will be really really expensive especially if he's in like the BPL or BBVA he will cost a shit ton. But guys that is it for this video if you have enjoyed this video then be sure to hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and also put in the comments down below any place you want me to check out and do a video on and I'll be sure to do them. So hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. See you later.